OSL Season 2 Player Awards. Now, these are all awards that were voted by you, the community. So, <clears throat> let's take a look here. Please enjoy. Owner of the season. Now, this was the person that drafted the best. They made the best trades, and they were a good overall leader for their team. Communicating, um, talking to other teams, just being a really good asset to the community. Let's see who won. Actually, we need epic music for this. Uh, is this? Um, what's this? Yeah, this works. Owner of the... Actually, we played this earlier. Let's play Bombalicious. What is this? Sure, this works, right? Speed Street. Nah, that's too fast. Airtime. I like airtime. Let's go with airtime. Owner of the season. Who do you think, guys? Who do you think got it? Uh, between... In my head, I think it was either two people. And the winner is Crimson. Barely getting that one out. 12 votes for Crimson. Of course, he, you know, he won the season. A lot of these people didn't know that the they won before they voted. But I don't like this song. Reckless Courage. Nah. We're just gonna go back to um this this song. I liked it. So Crimson, Loar Breastshoot got second place for this, for all the trades and, and drafting decisions that he made. And his emphasis on, on training their substitute, Vlas each. I think that was a really solid thing to do. Next award, most defensive player. This one is for people that had amazing saves, had really solid demo plays if necessary, and really good at clears, really good at buying time for their team. The winner of the Defensive Player of the Season award goes to Caleb J. Narrowly getting this one over K Dogs and Vinicero there too. Notice how K Dogs and Vinicero both were voted very highly for this and they were on the same team. That is pretty solid. That just goes to show that Berserkers were definitely a much more defensive minded team. Most improved player. Now this is the person that started somewhere and by the end of the season, they are almost unrecognizable. The people I think about for this one are, I'd honestly throw Crimson in this one because he was you know, champion, ended in grand champion. Uh, users in there, he started in GC, but somehow got to GC too. Vlasic is in there and he, this guy started, he didn't really, he downloaded the game pretty much. I mean, he played a little bit, but he re-downloaded it to play in this league. And he climbed so hard. He did such a good job. He held his own. He's in there. Joshi's Juice is another one going from from pretty good to hero in any clutch moment that he found himself in. I think that's a, those are some good picks for this one. But you guys voted for... Vlasic barely getting this one over Joshi's Juice and a little wire brush, dude. So those are some good improvements there. But Vlasic barely getting this vote in. Just one vote did it. Now, bad RNG. This one goes to the team that on paper could have done more. Could have been more. But for whatever reason, they just didn't have the right numbers. This one goes to... Everyone but Sakura, in my opinion. But technically, you guys vote for lawnmowers. But in my opinion, everyone just so balanced, so good. But for whatever reason, didn't get to the finals because that's that's how tournaments work. Next one, the Shoot 'Em Up Award. The Shoot 'Em Up Award. This one goes to the person that had really solid shot selection, good at taking pretty much any shot that they could, and and making it work, and just being an offensive menace to any team they faced this award goes to user with six votes don't look at any of the other votes they don't matter most valuable player <clears throat> most valuable player guys this is the most prestigious award of the season this is the person this is the player that without them, their team would not have gotten close to where they were able to land as far as the season went. 
The winner of the Most Valuable Player Award goes to K Dogs with a big majority vote here. We had lots of people on for this one. The next closest person was actually Crimson. Actually, Crimson, no, no, you know, ill, ill will to him, but it was really overwhelmingly, decisively given to K Dogs here. This guy in the regular season and even the playoffs too as a whole he was always there very consistent and he was just ready to take on any challenge that he faced well done k-dogs honorable mentions what these are awards that you guys got to send in after making your votes so let's take a look at some of these the Sweat Award goes to User. Good job, User. Best Coach goes to Caleb J. Coaching his team really well. Demo God, this person entered Demo God and, and didn't give a player to give it to. So uh, I'm just going to give that one to Radio. Radio is the Demo God. Good job, Radio. I would like to give the award of Good Sportsmanship to Low Wire Brush Dude. Good job, Good Sportsmanship, Low Wire Brush Dude. Yeah. Cool as a Cucumber Award, player who kept their team spirits high when times were low. Nominations won, Caleb J. Oh, good job, Caleb J. You are the cool, coolest Cucumber in the league. The real MVP award goes to Joshy's Juice. Apparently, Joshy's Juice is actually the MVP. Sorry, K-Dogs, it is not you. Funniest comms, I agree with this one wholeheartedly. Bat Skywalker. I would probably first pick that guy just for his comms and his morale. He's hilarious. Cutie Patootie Award goes to Lil Wire Brush Dude. Demolition Derby goes to all of the sombreros. I agree with that. The Nah Award goes to whoever submitted that and hates fun. My Love and Affection Award. Uh, this person did not put an award for who that to give that award to. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to give it to all of you. Good job, guys. Enjoy that. Didn't suck award goes to Low Wire Brush, dude. And the Poopy Head Award goes to Jackson. Thank you all so much for watching and making OSL a huge success once again. Uh, you know, plenty of things I, I could could have done made it better. And I did make it better. If I look at season one, it was a lot better. And I hope I can do the same thing in season two for y'all. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your night. And I look forward to doing this again. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. I don't know why I'm saying bye so much. So instead of doing that, I'm going to say one more thing. Um, yeah, thank you all again for the support. It means a lot to me. Your continued watching the stream, enjoying the stream, the videos, the content, the events, and taking it seriously, it probably means the most to me. So with that said, um, continue doing what you're doing. Reach out to me if you'd like to help out. I definitely need help if I want to continue to make this thing better and make it better faster. And now that is all I have to say. Share this with your friends and bye-bye.